All right, today guys from G&G Electronics, had a customer send me back <clears throat> a pixie kit that I had built for him. Um, he said that when he powered it up, um, all he was getting was uh, just a hum coming out of it. No code, no nothing. So he sent it back to me. I got it on my bench and I go and I pop the antenna on it. And grab a crystal. This is a 7023. Pop a crystal in it. Because these, when I build them, I, I put a crystal seat in. So you can just change crystals. Um, pop some power on it. I'm using a gel cell battery. Pop the audio on it. Works fine. So I emailed him back and I said, there's nothing wrong with it. And I put a key on it and I, it, it transmits and everything. But he says, well, when I did it, all it, all it gave out was just a hum. So I talked to him and said, make sure he was, you know, getting everything right, and uh, and he was he was doing it right. But the only thing, the only difference was, he wasn't using a set of powered speakers. He was using a pair of low impedance headphones, which you're supposed to use with these, especially if you're in the field or something like that, because you don't have powered speakers. Now watch what happens when you put in a pair of low impedance. See how that code's nice and clear? You pop in a low impedance. I don't know if where's the microphone on this thing. Listen to that. That's all you're getting out of that thing. So I'm scratching my head and saying, what the heck is going on? So what I did was, uh, hang on, let me grab something right here. I put in an audio amp and fed that through the low impedance um, headphones. You can still hear the buzz in the background but you could hear code. So I'm thinking, wait a minute, I'm, I'm feeding, I'm coming out of LM386 into another 3M uh, LM386. So I'm like, wonder if that LM386 is bad. So I powered it down. I popped out the 3M, the LM386. I'll get that right one of these times. I grabbed another LM386 out of my drawer. I popped it in. Put the antenna back on. Gave it some power. Popped in. Oops. Yeah. Alright, that's the that's the powered ones right there. So sounded good. So now let's put in the low impedance head for your, headphones. Now listen to it. So I just wanted to get it out there that some of these um, pixies that are coming from China, if you're getting a high pitch hum like that or any kind of hum, change out the LM386 because I don't know where they're sourcing these from, but they're bad. They're, they're just really junk LM386s. And the other thing, guys, that I've been noticing lately is it says you can run these on 9 volts. You can't. Um, I've, I've built several of these, and lately, within, I would say, the last, like, three months, you can't run them on 9 volts because you'll get no audio out of them. Something's going on with those chips that they're sending these with. Um, they only work I, I on my power supply... I started getting cold once I got up to 10 volts DC, then it starts working. So I recommend, if you're having problems with this with no audio, jump it up to 12 volts, and you'll start getting in the audio. There's something going on with the audio circuits on these, and I have a feeling they're just sending us crap chips. All right, I hope this helps everybody. Um, if you're having this humming problem with your pixie kits. Um, thanks for watching.